In this MuseScore tutorial, we'll be looking at how to copy music from one instrument into another. Now that we have all the details in the music, all the articulations, dynamics, notes and rhythms, it becomes very easy to add other instruments. And in fact, we don't need our source material anymore, so I'll close that and open that bigger. I'll press I for instruments. Let's add a violin and a trombone from the brass. Also a horn and a flute. I'm just double clicking to add all of these in. Now notice that MuseScore has ordered these according to the orchestral ordering which puts strings at the bottom. In this case we want to change that because we're not writing for orchestra, we're just writing for a small ensemble. And so in this case it would make more sense to put our violin underneath the flute then the horn and the trombone, so that they're in order of pitch. Notice that it also changes from orchestral to orchestral customized. Then we can click OK. Now we have our new instruments, and MuseScore has automatically grouped the brass together. We can just get rid of that little bracket, click and delete, and now we're ready to go. I have four instruments, and I have four different parts in the piano, that I can put the music into. So it should be a simple matter of copying and pasting wherever I want to. In this piece, there are different sections, and so I'll highlight that by using different instruments for the different sections. I'm also going to use continuous view so that I can see my continuous page more easily and spot the different sections. I would like to take this forte melody at the beginning, and I'll copy that into the violin. So I'll click on the first note, press Shift, and click on the last note. Then Control c to copy, select where I want it to go, and Control v That easy. This short quiet section here, I'll paste into the flute. So again, let's click on the first note, Shift, and click on the last note. Then Control c select where I want it to start, and Control v Now the problem here is that this D was on an upbeat, but when we selected where we wanted it to go, it went straight to the beginning of that bar. That's clearly not what we want. Let's undo that with Control-Z. We still have it copied to the clipboard, so what I really need to do is make some rests so that I can select that last quaver of the bar. So let's use 5, and then I'll press the right arrow, and 4, and the right arrow, and now I'm selected on that last quaver. Now I can use my shortcut, Control-V. We can do exactly the same with the other instruments. So I'll take this forte section and put it in the horn. Control-C, make my rests, and Control-V. Now we notice here that Sibelius took all of the notes exactly as we had them. There's no change that it's made to them. And it has actually done the same here, even though they look different. That is because this horn in F is a transposing instrument, and so the player needs to read different pitches. For now, to get around that, we can just click this Concert Pitch button, and so that we can see all instruments in the same key. Now we see that this is exactly the same. If I undo that again, we can see what the horn player will see. A very powerful feature of the software. Let's copy this accompaniment into the lower brass. I'm going to just move this forte so that it starts in the right place. Let's copy the forte section into the horn. Control C and Control V. Now it looks like these notes are really low. When we take them up for the horn, they're not as bad, but still these very bottom notes are probably too low. Let's just move them up an octave so they work a bit better. I'll also take this section for the trombone. There we have it. Again, these might be a little low. We could probably just do that. If I want to hear the results of my orchestration, I can simply play it. At the moment, though, it's playing with the piano. 
So I'll just press F10 for the mixer, move across, mute the pianos, press F10 again, select my first note, and play. Quickly and easily, we're building up our orchestration.